and tail to get a little bit more detail, but lime, because it's shaped like that spire key, because it's shaped like that corkscrew, it adapts very easily and it hides and can morph very easily. And so if we have a, a chronic infection of Lyme and we're taking oral antibiotics or we're taking herbs or whatever, that's that these, there are these big molecular structures that are meant to try to kill that Lyme bacteria. Eventually that little spirochete is going to be like, nah, bro, I don't want to die. Yep. I'm going to go over here let's and go play dig. hide and seek. Yes. Let's play hide and seek. I'm going to go hide where I'm safe. And they're really good at it. Where there's lack of blood flow where that antibiotic or herb is not touching me. And mm -hmm. so now that patient, that person might feel better on the antibiotic. They might feel better on the herbal protocol, or they could go the opposite way and hurts like crazy. Um, but as soon as we stop taking that antibiotic, and sometimes it's IV, there's patients who have pick lines because of IVs, yep. they're on cyclical antibiotics for months and months and months. And what are we doing? We're suppressing that bacteria. 